Good morning. Uh, this is Dave Weiner, and I want to show you something really cool. Um, this is Heroku, which is a app deployment system. Um, it's really cool, and um, it's run by Salesforce.com, uh, which I think actually is also pretty cool. Anyway, I've been learning how to use this lately, and really liking it a lot. Um, so here basically is the dashboard and I've got oh, four apps running. Um, this is something that just helps me track hits. This is was the first instance of the publisher that I put up and then this is the second one. Uh, there was a rewrite between these two versions. I just haven't bothered to get rid of this one yet uh, even though it's not uh, taking any hits um, because there's no reason to. It doesn't cost me any money. <laughs> it's just a file on a hard drive is another way to think of it as long as it's not taking any hits. Anyway, um, so I want to show you something. This is Fargo Publisher 2 and this is the app that's running um, the publishing community uh, behind Fargo 2. And um, so you can see that I've got one instance running here. That's what this one means. And um, it's free. As soon as I bump it up to two though, it's going to cost me like five dollars a month or something like that, not very much. Um, but it's been fine so far with the beta community, just the one with the free level of um, you know service. I'm not exactly sure what it means, but it actually uh, turns out it's a fair amount of traffic, uh, um, at least by my standards. Anyway, um, I wanted to show you something. So let's say one day I get a slew of hits coming in and the server starts getting a little slow and I think, yeah, you know, I wish I could like just add another server. So this is how you do it. This little scroll bar thing and you just drag it. Now I've got 15, 16 servers. And you can see, I don't want to load up because I don't want to actually buy the servers. But you can see in the lower right hand corner it says the estimated monthly cost is $538.50 and I can roll it all the way up to 82 and you can see you just keep, keep going and you know, if I don't even know what happens when you hit the end here at 100. Maybe you can go above 100. I'm not sure. But no problem. If I needed to go more than I could handle, I'll just fire up another uh, um, another publisher app and exactly a clone of exactly the same app. And they all can access the same data. And, you know, they have uh, no concurrency problems. And they don't store any data permanently. <laughs> it's just really cool. Um, I think I finally hit the point where, you know, I can write software and, uh, and you know, it's like, you know, throw another engine in the car. <laughs> I mean, I've never, you know, it makes me giddy to think about this. I wish I had been there many years ago, but, you know, better late than never. Anyway, I just want to show you how that works. Thanks.